Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about Minimalist Salicylic Acid Plus LHA 2% Cleanser. What are the different ingredients present in it and is this formulation worth purchasing? When you see the formulation, you might be thinking that what is LHA? LHA is lipohydroxy acid. These acids are actually derived from salicylic acid. So they are larger molecular weight, makes them sit on the top layer of the skin hence helping to exfoliate the skin properly. So they are targeting more towards the topest layer, they don't penetrate, whereas the BHA, that is beta hydroxy acid, that is salicylic acid, it kind of penetrates and then helps to unclog the pores. But lipohydroxy acid and then there is PHA also, so these are the new type of hydroxy acid. These are also been used for exfoliating the oily skin type and also for the acne skin. So you need more of exfoliation as compared to the dry skin as your skin has more sebum production that can lead to more acne formation, clogging of the pores with bacteria. So lipohydroxy acid is really good for you because it removes the sebum, excess sebum, as well as removing the dead skin cells that can clog the pores. Before I get into the ingredient list, let me introduce myself. My name is Ashwini Priyadarshini Megur, also known as Avi, and I'm a PhD student in the field of biology. I make skincare related videos, drawing videos, art videos. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like this video, also subscribe to my channel, and also click on that bell icon so that you can be updated whenever I come up with a new video. You can also follow me on my Instagram handle. This is my Instagram handle. It helps me as a YouTuber as well as an influencer to grow. Without your support, I don't think I can reach up to a lot of people to tell them how does the skincare formulation work. So please do follow me and also subscribe to me. It is just helping me to get more recognized among the people. So without any further ado, let's get into the ingredient list and see how is it formulated. One thing about Minimalist brand is that I really like they don't make anything with like fragrance, no essential oil, no comedogenic ingredient. So that becomes really good for oily skin type. It becomes actually a very broad spectrum skincare because all skin types can use it when there is no essential oil, no fragrance, and not even any comedogenic ingredients. So it can be used for all skin types. But not all the formulations are good for skin of color. Due to this reason, it becomes very essential to select the best skincare for the skin of color. So in this formulation, I do see that the first ingredient is water. Following to that is glycerin. So it is humectant. It helps with the hydration of the skin. The third ingredient is cocamidopropyl betaine. So this one is a cleansing agent. It's a texture enhancer. It helps to remove all the excess oil as well as uh, the dirt and debris because it's a surfactant. Then there is the uh, next ingredient that is propanodinol. This one is my favorite because it is also a texture enhancer. It helps with the penetration of the different active ingredients and uh, it also is good because it acts as an emollient. It is helping for the hydration because it makes a shield. So it's a good one as well. Fifth ingredient here is the sodium lauryl methyl isothionate. So this is again a cleansing agent. It is also a surfactant, helping to remove the dirt debris from the skin. Then there is xylithyl glucoside. This is also one of the humectants. It's like very popular ingredients, like they are coming into picture now. They were not existing before because not a lot of studies are done on these ingredients. So this is also a humectant, helping to hydrate your skin, helping to hold that water molecules from the surrounding. Then in the 2%, there is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid as helps with the exfoliation. It helps with the removal of the, you know, clogged pores, the bacteria, the dirt that is accumulated in the pores. It's an excellent acid when it comes to exfoliating your skin, especially if you are suffering from oily skin, acne prone skin. So salicylic acid is the top choice. Even if you have blackheads, you have clogged pores, your skin has irregular texture. So salicylic acid is the key to go. It is well tolerated by skin of color as well as Caucasian skin. So it's an excellent uh, concentration to work with. It is around 2%. Then after salicylic acid is the lipohydroxy acid. Capri Loyal salicylic acid was first introduced by L'Oreal and they were doing this research and they could find that this was derived from salicylic acid and it had much better results than salicylic acid. 
So in in vitro study, they made like the stratum corneum, the skin layers, and they could see that the lipohydroxy acid sits on the top layer and the salicylic acid, actually lipohydroxy acid is derived from salicylic acid, but salicylic acid was penetrating more deeper and that was 58% more faster than the lipohydroxy acid. So lipohydroxy acid can be used and well tolerated by sensitive skin type and it's also a good choice for skin of color. So this can be used by the people who are having dry skin, who want to exfoliate their skin. So it becomes a gentle acid, which is not penetrating that deep and it is removing the dead skin cells from the top layer. So it's a very good choice if you are suffering from acne and you have a sensitive skin. So the lipohydroxy acid is a good one. Why lipo? Because it's oil soluble and it's oil based ingredients. So that's why it's called as lipo. Then after that, I saw that there is zinc PCA. Now zinc PCA controls the sebum production and also it helps to hinder the growth of the acne causing bacteria. The propenobacterium acnes were administered with zinc uh, PCA just to see if their proliferation was reduced. So the zinc PCA showed antibacterial property. So it hindered the growth of acne, uh, acne forming bacteria. So this shows like the whole formulation now, okay, is fragrance free. It has salicylic acid, it has lipohydroxy acid, it has zinc PCA and it has different humectants that can hydrate the skin. So this cleansing agent can be used by the people who are having oily, clogged pores, who have acne problem, not the, like you know, severe acne, you need dermatologists for that. But you want a cleanser that can remove the dirt, even for the body acne, then you can go for this particular cleanser. It's very affordable. It is around 300 Indian rupees, which is, really good for the volume that they are selling and i think minimalist came up with such a nice cleanser and it's so to the point it is well formulated it is stabilized and it shows the results if you use it so how to use this product properly to get the best results so the first thing that you have to do is you have to use the cleanser cleanse your whole face or else the body whatever area that you're targeting on the body then let it sit for like one, two minutes because the acids need to penetrate and they have to do their job. And then you're gonna wash off your whole body or else the place where you applied this uh, cleanser. When you start using this cleanser, you will observe that your skin has improved because the dead skin layer has gone away and it also has zinc PCA, which is reducing the sebum production. It is making it normal and it is bringing back that healthy skin to you. So I love this formulation. I will give it a thumbs up and I will recommend it to everyone who has no oily skin type to acne prone skin, clogged pores who are suffering from uh, irregular texture on the skin. So salicylic acid and the lipohydroxy acid is the best choice for you. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching my video. And if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe as well as share this video with your friends so that they can understand how does the skincare formulation actually work. So I will see you soon in another video. Take care and bye.